Hi, it's Danny. Um, welcome to my lovely little short tutorial on how to make semi-decent fursuits. Like Danny. Um, so let's get into it. Number one, in my book, um, is to have at least three types of foam, two poly or project foam, and one, um, like, gym foam, I guess. And also make sure that you have correct scissors, um, and if you're really fancy, an exacto knife and an electric knife. I really recommend the electric knife. Number two. So, don't be afraid to look at your project from other angles, or to walk away and come back and look at it, because you might notice that it looks great from one side, but it looks like trash from another. <laughs> this definitely happens a lot um, with my little gecko. He's just weird like that. Number three. Be sure to make sure that your base fits properly. Add whatever foam you need to on the inside before you line it so that when you actually wear it, it doesn't move anywhere. See, before I added that, that base would go everywhere. Number four. Be sure to line your heads. I mean, you don't have to, but I strongly suggest it. Line your heads and hands with lycra, some sort of cotton, something that's going to wick sweat away and keep it from seeping into the fur and into the foam because that is not fun and we do not like black mold. We don't like toxins in our lungs. Number five. Use a black sharpie for everything. It is your friend. White fur, any kind of fur, outline it on Sharpie. When you make eyes with your lovely little buckram, whatever you want to call it, clear. If you don't have black buckram or vinyl, you can take your black Sharpie, color the back of it after you've painted it, and then, oh my gosh, you can see through it like it's not even there. Wow, look at that. Gorgeous. Black Sharpie is your friend. Number six. Oh my gosh, what's this? It's, it's a brush. Okay. Jokes aside, whenever you're sewing together pieces of fur, or whenever you're gluing it, anything, remember to brush out your fur. Brush it well. Brush it, brush it, brush it, brush it, brush it. You always need to brush your fur to make sure that it doesn't get stuck in all of your seams. Because then, if you don't, you're not going to have a fun time trying to pick out all those fur fibers with your needle. So be sure to brush out all your seams. Get all the fur out of them. Number seven. Be careful when you use your hot glue, especially on other fabrics. You can see here that I used too much of it and it burned through it. <laughs> and here you can see that I used too much and it seeped onto her eyes. And here it created awful little globs that don't look good. Also very dangerous. I burned a hole in my leg and I burned a hole in my hand. Please be careful with hot glue. Number eight, please do not beat yourself up about a horrible looking fursuit when it's still in its earliest stages. Please be gentle with them. This is how Danny looked when I first started. Awful. Then she got eyebrows, a little bit less awful. Then cheeks, which ended up looking decent, a lot better. And then, obviously, her ginormous ears. Looks great. Then she got fur. She got her skin. And then she was finished. And she doesn't look half bad. Do not give up.
Number ten, yay! When you duct tape your head for your pattern, do not just put it on one side, all over, not on the half, because if you put it on the half of it, well, let me just, let me just show you. So I put duct tape over half of Danny. One side fit perfectly, perfectly well. And the other, it did not. So when I sewed it all together, it ended up pulling her face in a completely different direction. Duct tape your entire face. And number 11, yay! Get quality fur. I did not. It didn't end well. Quality fur. And that's about it. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. Thank you. Bye.